<laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought in the first half a couple of times. W T F. Um, but so we were not we were not ready first half obviously. But Wolves did really well on top of that. So you could see it in these situations when Neto walks through three players and to the box and we were not there last step not there. I know I work with these boys now with some of them a few weeks seven eight nine weeks with some longer. I know when they can they are there. Today they couldn't in a lot of moments. You saw with Maka, you saw with other players. You, they were just not. They didn't have the legs today. So, but I know as well after a long time, if you can get through a first half uh, with a reasonable result, like not being massively down, you can you can turn it. And um, the, but the, the team needed help, and we thankfully we could deliver the help a little bit with a change and a change of system and these kind of things. So obviously completely different halves. And you saw this, pretty much the same players first half looked a bit rusty and second half, yeah, the boys were, it looked much easier. And um, so Wolves played a super first half, we a really bad one and second half we were really good and controlled the game and, and, and kept going and scored one and then not directly the second so we needed a while. But we stayed calm. I liked that a lot. It was no rush. We didn't kick balls somewhere. We really tried to um, play around, break lines. So, and 3 1 is a result I didn't expect. And after 20 minutes, and maybe not after, in half time, but during the second half, we, we deserved the result. And so that's fine. Yeah, yeah, he did well. Eh? He did really well. It was really good. It's a nice, wonderful experience for him. So he came on always in very decisive moments. It's not that he was not, it didn't come on to to close games or whatever. It was um, we were a bit. We had to do something there, and today he was good. I have to say, um, and yeah, in such a disorganized team like we were in the first half, being the one who looks kind of. All right, <laughs> it's a statement, absolutely. So really happy for him. He is obviously um, pretty happy in the moment as well. But uh, no, he's a good boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Dom, <laughs> but I have to say that's really he has a massive influence on our game already. So it's it's like he. Um, he didn't play well first half, eh? so he was uh, he lost balls and stuff like this. Where I think, oh, but, uh, like we lost so many balls. I think that the, the main the main situation of, of um, Wolves were when we gave the ball pretty much in the in the center circle away, and then they had the, the counter attacks. Then had the diagonal balls to Neto. Obviously, we left and Joe in a one v one situation. Neto really in a really good moment, for a good first half. Um, so that was the moments, and that doesn't help, but. He stays in the game. Eh? That's probably the biggest strength. So it's not a great game, but he stays in the game. And second half, he played Curtis and, and Dom on a double six, uh, which is a, a very offensive um, double six. But they did really well. They did really smart, both of them. And so, yeah, he turned it into a really good game. Yes. Oh, he was done. No, he was done. Yes, yellow card, and he he was exhausted in the first half already. So come on, we know now how good Alexis is. Um, and first half, obviously, he, decision making. I, I, we saw during the week <laughs> when he had the oxygen mask. Um, I'm not sure where it was exactly, but I thought a couple of times they should have left it a bit longer um, there. That, that would have helped maybe. So it was just tough, and it was pure. Trust, come on, that's that's it for today. And your yellow card. And when you are in that, in a game like this, it's pretty likely that you come um, in a challenge a bit too late, and then you have the second yellow. And that's it. Um, that's all. He was, he had good moments in the first half, but he had some uh, other moments as well. And you could see it. And I think he was not really disappointed when we took him off. I think it was rather a relief. Absolutely, it's unbelievable. He's involved in everything. So yeah, 
And if first half wasn't great, obviously, but second half, then again, different system, and he's just is very is a key moment player. Definitely, he's always there when we when we need him. Um, you know, like everybody, stepped really up in the second half. Really good. Paul and the last one, Joe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You usually usually you learn things like this a bit late in the season um about your team so we learned obviously pretty quickly um pretty early. Yes, we we are still we are still just we, we are not we are not stable yet. We are not. But then if it and no I think with all the changes we we we, we made now and and again for this game today um how can we be stable? It's really I don't ask for that. I ask for trying everything, for making the next steps and stuff like this. In the first half, it was obviously not the case, but the second half, then um, even more so, and that's super helpful. Obviously, yeah, of course, we turning games around is helpful whenever it happens in the season. So we that we should um, not come that often in that in the situation. It's clear as well, but for today, it's absolutely all right and. Um, you have to to good as good to play as good as you can, and it looked for me a little bit that we just couldn't play better in the first half for some reasons. And second half, then I I experienced that now a couple of times when you have really tough weeks um, when players come back. Then it's sometimes the first half. Um, I hope it's not always the case, but sometimes it can happen that the first half uh, they need a little bit to shake the the, the, the legs off, and um, we have to work on that that it doesn't happen because the next international break we play Everton then. Um, but um, the reaction was top class. Joe, last one. Yeah. Jurgen, obviously, it was a struggle for periods. You had no, you had, you couldn't have your captain there or your vice captain. To have someone like Andy Robertson there, is it, is it important for a manager to have like a senior guy there when things aren't going well? For He's not the only senior guy we had on the pitch. Eh? So uh, Ali was there, Mo was there, Joel was there. I would say Diogo is a senior as well. We have enough of, the, of these guys, so it's all fine. Um, yeah, but probably is an important player to us. Um, if you don't know it, then have a look at the stats. He plays pretty much all the time, um, and we don't do that because he's a nice guy. So um, it's just it was his 200th game today, Premier League game, big number. Curtis 100 game, big number. Um, both players. Are probably pretty proud of that, and then scoring in a in a game like this um, is is big because it doesn't happen a lot. But it, it, it a good example for the second half, the change between first and second half, because obviously Robo would have never been in a position where he scored a goal in the first half. There was no chance, so um, we became more flexible, and that's very important in football.